G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. And today I've got the Fox ESS battery. Now this is the energy cube, one of the many that you can stack together to make a big energy cube. Let's get in the box then. So Fox ESS, you, you might not have heard the name. Uh, Fox ESS is a subsidiary of the Shenshan Group and the Shenshan Group is a huge uh, Chinese company. First in stainless steel, that was kind of their, where they made their name. Uh, but one of the ingredients of stainless steel is nickel. And uh, it just so happens that the Shenshan Group owned the biggest nickel mine in the world in Sulawesi. And when they started thinking about diversifying, now I'm making this stuff up, but I'm pretty sure that's how it would have happened. They thought, what else can we use nickel for? And what do you know, apart from stainless steel, lithium ion batteries, particularly lithium ferrophosphate batteries. So they got into the battery business. Um, and what do you use lithium batteries with? Well, uh, in residential and CNI energy storage, you use it with inverters. So what do you know? They now make inverters as well. So <laughs> from nickel all the way from batteries through to inverters. I've actually visited the plant in in China where they make the batteries and uh, it's pretty amazing to go there. It's fully robot controlled. Um, there's hardly any human intervention because they're all robot engineers. You don't need lots of hands-on stuff. So this is a very high quality product uh, made <laughs> in a very automated fashion. So what have we got in the box here? Um, we've got some security screws. We've got some silica gel and some foam packaging. And here is the battery. Now, first thing to note, before I take it out of the box, so what you should be able to see here is a connector. Now, there's no cables when you assemble a um, energy cube. You're basically stacking one on top of the other, just like Lego. I mean, people keep describing it as Lego because it's such, such a, a standard format for kids, but also it is for batteries these days. So to be able to plug them in, they've got comms and they've got power all in the same connector. It's also um, protected from impact, so if you put these down upside down onto the ground, it's not sitting on the uh, connector. I like that. They've actually got this, this mounting surface here. But let's get it out of the box. Now, I might call in my assistant here, Justin, to give us a hand to lift it out of the box. Do you want to come around here, Justin? We're just going to lift it out and put it back on the table. Cool, thank you. So, here we have one component of the energy cube. Now, the energy cube refers to the stack of batteries. And the way you stack them is, I've got it upside down at the moment so that you can see from the overhead uh, the connector here. So this connector is both power and data communication between battery modules. The advantage of this is there's no wires. This system basically just stacks up like Lego and you've got a fully functional battery stack. Uh, the top unit is the master which has the BMS as well and these are the sl this is one of the slaves. The number that you have um, determines the operating voltage of the stack. The, the minimum you can have in an energy cube is two of these batteries. And so I'm looking at the, uh, the specs here. If you've got two of these, these are the ECS uh, 2900s. If you've got two of these, you'll have a operating voltage of 115 volts, uh, an amp hour capacity of 50 amp hours, and a battery voltage range from empty to full of 90 to 131.4. The maximum charge current is, and the discharge current is symmetrical, it's 50 amps, um, and the recommended standing charge, uh, standard charging current is 25, which is often referred to as 0.5C, so 0.5 of the C rating. Uh, it can take up to 60 amps of peak current for 30 seconds, and it's got an operating temperature range of 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. I mean, this is the case with all lithium batteries. They don't like to be charged when they're really cold. So um, you will be able to discharge them down to zero, but generally you'll keep them in a, a location that is a bit more human friendly. The cycle life is greater than 6,000 cycles. Now, in a residential application, these batteries will be cycled once a day. You'll be charging them during the solar 
part of the day and discharging them whenever it can, generally uh, at the end of the day when there's no solar to contribute to loads. So 6,000 cycles is way more than 10 years worth of service life, uh, and that's up to a 90% uh, maximum depth of discharge. So when they give you a an amp hour capacity or a kilowatt hour capacity, 90% uh, of that is usable. The weight of these units, uh, each battery is around about 35 kilos, uh, and uh, the dimensions, as you can see, it's around about 570 by 380 by 170 millimeters. Uh, that's the master, and the slave is slightly smaller, like this is a slave at 570 by 380 by 119. So, um, a little bit more about Fox and the Energy Cube. The Energy Cube is really ideal to work with a Fox ESS inverter, a hybrid inverter. Now we've got one of those uh, here at the lab and you'll be seeing that once we've finished the installation. Uh, Fox makes an integrated solution, basically a, a battery that suits their inverter. Uh, the big plus with that is that you're actually dealing with one company when it comes to a product. You're not having to sort of sort out any technical issues about compatibility because these batteries are made to work with their inverters. That's a really big plus. Now, just going back to Fox ESS themselves, um, I visited their factory back in 2020, in fact, just before COVID shut China, so I was kind of probably the last man out of China, uh, and it was amazing to see. Uh, they hadn't built the inverter factory, they'd just built the battery factory at that stage, but wow, what an organization. Um, they don't do things in halves. So, Fox ESS are here in Australia and you'll be seeing a lot more of them going forward. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check it.